And so welcome back to the Siberian Socialist Republic as Sablindin. You know, our good friend Fidel Castro, we, we take over the world. And of course by take over the world, I mean liberate all the workers. Of course, of course. We're going after the Kazakh Khanate down here because uh, they're ruled by some despot, I guess, yeah? We need to uh, liberate the people down there and prepare for a final war to reunify Russia. I guess there is a kind of wholesome leader over here, Boris Yeltsin, in democracy, but of course it's just the, the bourgeois democracy. And so, uh, the dream of a better world. So they created a map of the new Siberian Socialist Republic for Soblin. Don't worry, comrade, we got your back, Mark, you said, Soblin taking his hands and getting up again. In times of trouble, you always had us to depend on. Always try to remember that, comrade. We're all in this together. Okay, and we've declared war. Let's attack fast. I guess they don't even have any divisions on the border, so we just need to move extremely quick with this very fast Chad tank. And there we go, we, we've taken them. That's a pretty good advantage for us, for the most part. Can we invade these two guys? I assume we can invade those two guys, maybe. I don't know, I'm pretty sure the West Russian and like Central Russian areas were supposed to fight over those guys. I don't know what's gonna happen now. I guess it probably doesn't matter too much. See, and this is how wholesome we are here. Liberation, not annihilation. We must clarify what the Red Army does to all our recruits. It is a force of revolution, yes, but it is not a blunt instrument to beat anybody we don't like. It is a professional force that will liberate to mankind, not shoot other warlords or raid outlying villages. We are doing this for the people of the villages and towns we take. Oh yes, how well put. And this battle is not quite over yet. I thought it may be, but the Russian Federative Republic has 58 to 74 divisions along with two puppets who have 10 and 6 divisions. And we only have 34 divisions, so the battle is not quite over. The battle against the authoritarians in Russia is won, but the battle against the capitalists is still going on. Assume the OFN is rooting for this guy ever since I turned them down, because the OFN, the OFN threatened to destroy a revolution by supporting the authoritarian socialists. I assume they've turned to their other Russian friends. Cuba said they would do anything to help us, but uh, they haven't really done much. We don't really need their help though until maybe now. Maybe like the Cuban divisions will come rushing in to help save the day, I, I, I don't know. And whereas we don't want bourgeois democracy or the monarchy back again, I guess we're allowing other thought to, we don't want to be the repressive regime that originally collapsed. That's nice, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So we're allowing the authoritarian socialist who the US likes to grow and social democracy rather than pure socialism. Oh no, and an oil crisis has erupted. Oh. And the Russian state has declared that we are illegitimate. How, how dare they? After everything we've been through, after all we've done, they declare us illegitimate. It's gonna be a hard fought battle. It's not gonna be easy. They have seven to 18 tanks and we have three. But Chad tanks aren't just regular tanks, so I, I have some hope, but we'll have to see what happens here. And now we're technically in a defensive war. I, I, I thought we would have to justify reason to go after these guys, but no. They have shown that they are the true villains, yes. Even though they hide behind democracy. They, they declared this war, they started this, and now we'll end it. There it is. It took a long ways to get here, and we at least did it without doing anything bad or questionable. Now we can integrate the last remaining bits of Russia, besides the parts of Russia that Germany owns. I guess I also learned that th these 
tanks move faster when just moving normally, and they move slower when they're being railroaded somewhere. A new Russian revolution. For the first time in almost 30 years, a red star rises over the North General Secretary, <laughs> Valery Soblin, has declared officially to the New World that the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics has been officially reborn. The Russian anarchy, once thought of as a new status quo, was ended after a series of bloody wars and hard-fought diplomatic agreements that some have begun to refer to as a new Russian revolution. Soblin's clique began as a rebellion against the interim premier Yagoda. The new government's promises of stability and peace have won it to the popular support of the people. The Soviet bear has woken, and the world waits impatiently for its roar. Hope may yet survive. Be strong in the belief that life is wonderful. Be positive and believe that the revolution will always win. Valery Soblin. And the people march on if someone told Valery Soblin, the idealistic leader of a band of desperate mutineers so many years ago, that one day he would unite Russia under his banner. He would scarcely believe his ears. Congratulations, Valery. You did it. You finally united Russia, Braun said, raising a glass of his own. No, Soblin said, raising his own glass in turn. We did it. Ah, he did the thing, you know. Party of the workers, everyone. I know it wasn't easy. We faced so many hardships together, so many moments of doubt and uncertainty in the journey to today. We were surrounded by enemies who believed us to be fools, who threatened us to give up on that vision we broke our backs for. But yeah, there's a lot uh, left to be done in this world. Some socialists are rebelling in Iran, which is which is good. It would be nice if if they won. I don't, I don't think they will, but maybe, maybe, possibly, we could send them some help. We can help out the cause. Well, that didn't go very well. Okay, well, um, yeah, sending tanks to the desert and mountain areas was not a very good idea. Um, I guess we'll just let them resolve their own, um, conflicts. Okay, uh, yeah. I don't think another single nation has our ideology, though. Like, in the entire world, I'm pretty sure no one does. Yeah, Sweden is kind of close, but yeah, no one else has our exact ideology. There's some social democracies, but not in a single other libertarian. And Italy just proposed term limits for their leader. I think this is the end of authoritarian fascist Italy. Uh, um, yeah, I think that kind of seals the deal there. Yeah, Germany definitely isn't making many friends, though. Well, I guess all three of these guys all hate each other. Yeah, and we obviously hate Germany, too. They're not in a good situation, except with nukes there, kind of invincible. Only if we were as strong like Omsk and just decided to charge in because of a bunker system that we may or may not have built. And Martin Borman has had his Pokemon evolution into Old Man. Um, and oh no, the OFN and the Unity Pact actually have a border now. Three to five province border in Iran and the Reichskommissariat in the Caucasus. This is interesting, for sure. Uh, hmm. We also will make sure that we'll never be able to be invaded again. We stand united and we stand with a giant, very powerful wall here that they'll hopefully never be able to break again. So I feel like we can all sleep well. Now we just need that nuclear arsenal. And wait, the Italian Social Republic? Wait. Wait, is this what I think it is? Well, actually, they're still fascist, I guess. Yeah, democratic fascism? Preposterous, I, I agree, yeah. It's kind of weird when you have the Italian Social Republic and democratic authoritarian system. I, I, I don't know, yeah, it's possible, of course, but it's, it's interesting. So yes, it has been a long fought battle to get to this point. It, I'm happy we made it. It was, it was a fun adventure. This was definitely the more wholesome rush out of this in Omsk. Those are the only two I've played, so I can only speak for those. This one seems to rank pretty high on the wholesome list, so it was a fun journey. The writers for this mod are great. They do a great job. I wish there was more, but I can't really ask for more. There's already so much in this mod that it would be very, very selfish of me to say, oh, I wish there was more, and there could be more. I guess, hey, I, I, I could just make my own sub mod afterwards, but I feel like making a sub mod for this mod would, it would be ter- would just make my brain explode, so I don't know. Anyways, I guess we can hope that one day the Empire of Japan, Italy, and Germany all liberalize somewhat, but for now, we wait. We improve ourselves and Cuba, the only other communist in the world, I guess. If you enjoyed this series, remember to like and subscribe for more uh, TNO stuff in the future, and I'll see you all next time.